There have been almost just as many pothole claims filed up until April of this year as of all of last year. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation says claims vary year by year depending on the weather. It honestly sounded like a bomb went off. It was so loud. Susan Gazero says she was driving along Simmonsville Avenue in Johnston when she hit a major pothole. So she called the police to file a report and ended up having to get her car towed and two brand new tires. They called me back that day. They wanted to make sure that I knew it was a state road, not a town road. She says she filed a claim with the state only to learn that pothole claims reimbursement is up to $300. Gazzaro says she paid about 400 out of pocket. I think it's unfair for myself or anybody else or an insurance company to have to pay when I pay my tax dollars and I don't expect to have to pay $1,000 if I hit a pothole. 12 Responds found there have been hundreds of pothole claims filed with the state in recent years. In 2023, there were 442 total pothole claims. Compare that to this year, where as of April, there has been 428 claims. You drive anywhere in the state and there's road work, yet the roads are deplorable. I don't understand it. The state has paid out more than $200,000 in that time period to people who filed claims. Some claims do get denied for various reasons, including not filing within seven days, and the car has to be registered to Rhode Island. Gazero says she believes the state should pay more for when the roads damage drivers' cars. I just really want to express my frustration about, about the roads and how the conditions, they're awful. We have to inspect our cars to be drivable and worthy of these roads, but these roads are not worthy of our cars. The state says they will also not pay for any damage under the vehicle, such as oil pans. Sarah Gardelli, 12 News.